Shalom. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our Dividing Fractions video. All right. Well, technically, dividing fractions is just a fancy name for really finding the reciprocal or the inverse uh, and multiplying again. So you might remember three famous letters that we used throughout the year when we were in school called K, C, F. All right, hopefully that should ring a bell. We will get to that shortly. But um, we will be using KCF when we see dividing of fractions. All right, the first thing we need to review is the term reciprocal. Uh, this is a fancy math term for a, uh, a way to evaluate a number by flipping it or giving its inverse to create the whole number one. Okay, so let's put it into fifth grade terms. It's basically flipping a number or flipping a fraction, right? Now remember, all numbers, all right, if I have a number five, all numbers can be represented by, in, in a fraction way, by just placing that fraction, I'm sorry, that number over one. Not over five, all right? over one. So this is the same as just writing plain old five on your paper, okay? Now, a reciprocal basically just flips the position of your numerator and denominator, all right? So if I were to take this and flip it, the result would be one over five, okay? So the reciprocal of five is one fifth. Now, once again, you can see that when we multiply it to its original state, five times uh, one, one times five, you get five over five, and that is equal to one. So remember, the job of the reciprocal is to always get that number to good old one, okay? But once again, for fifth grade knowledge, for fifth grade, this is your first time going with reciprocals, just flip the number. Now, if I had one seventh to start with, what would the reciprocal be? Well, I just placed the seven on top and the one below. Now, seven over one is actually equal to seven, plain old seven. But once again, if we were to multiply the original times its reciprocal, it should always equal one, which it would. One times seven is seven, seven over seven is one, all right? But for easy terms, just what we call flip those terms, all right? Swap the numerator and denominator to create a reciprocal, all right? So where does KCF fit in? Well, that's where this comes right now. Now, you only do KCF when you see, and that's a eyeball for those of you, uh, don't, don't make fun of me, when you see a division sign from the start, all right? You have to see the division sign to begin KCF. You can't do it to a multiplication problem, addition of fractions or mixed numbers. You have to use it only when you see this right off the bat. Okay, so an example would be if you came across something that looked like this. Okay, five divided by one half. All right, now you apply the letters like we've learned in class, K, C, F. And what does the K, C, F for, stand for? Remember, K stands for keep. C stands for change. And F basically is what we just talked about, the reciprocal flip, okay? So let's take a look at how this comes out in, uh, in, in the question. So K, keep. So what is five kept? Five. Now, I like putting this over one because we're gonna need that in a little bit. So get used to just adding a denominator of one. So keep that five. And once again, five over one is the same thing as five. We'll put it in a fraction format for uh, later use. Change, okay? We're gonna change this to the inverse or the opposite of division, which is malt. And what's as nice is you X out that um, 
division symbol, it actually looks like a multiplication sign. So you bring that down here. And then the last thing right here is flip. So I'm taking these two, all right, reciprocal is the proper mathematical term, but flip will work for us. And we get two over one. Okay, there's the keep, the change, and the flip. And now we just multiply across like we have learned with multiplying fractions. And I get 10, okay, over one. 10 over one is equal to 10, all right? Now you might be saying, all right, I get a larger number by dividing. Well, let's take a look at what this problem was actually saying. Five whole things, one, two, three, four, five, divided in half. One, two, three, four, five, they're dividing them in half. How many slices am I creating? Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right? So yes, you can divide, which actually we actually ended up multiplying, but we did the inverse and actually get a larger number. We're taking, think again, we have five items and we have to chop them in half. Well, we're going to create more than what we started with. All right. So once again, taking a step back to analyze and look into the questions and saying, well, what am I being asked? All right. Diagrams help folks. Diagrams help a lot. All right. And that's especially when we have our whole number um, as a divisor. I'm sorry, as, excuse me, as the dividend, excuse me, as the dividend. It, it definitely can make it a lot easier to draw diagrams when a whole number is on the dividend side. All right, well, hopefully this uh, is uh, pretty straightforward and a little bit of a review. And uh, once again, a little practice on IXL always helps. And uh, once again, always thank you, thank you for tuning in and we will see you soon.